Hello everyone, this is a very special presentation made with the help of Eckerd College students. This is the first presentation in the series in which we're going to collaborate with Eckerd College students to come up with great wellness information. This presentation focuses on traditional Chinese medicine and was made with the help of Dana and Ariana. Traditional Chinese medicine really covers four dimensions of wellness. Physical, spiritual, emotional, and intellectual. The first aspect of traditional Chinese medicine that we're going to talk about is the five elements of qi. And the five elements of qi are the baseline for all traditional Chinese medicine. The five elements of qi are wood, metal, fire, earth, and water, and they represent basically everything in the physical. Each element corresponds to different organs, different seasons, different colors, different directions, different times of day, different sounds, different tastes, and based on what's ailing you or what's going on in your body, Traditional Chinese medicine practitioners use the five elements of qi to help balance the body. Now, the body is never in all one element at one time, so it's not like the entire body is in fire at one time. This is a very dynamic, very fluid system of medicine. And so the whole goal of Tra traditional Chinese medicine is to keep these five elements in balance so that the body and everything around the body is reflected whether it's your environment or your body is reflected in that balance and that will keep you healthy. The five elements of Qi in turn help control the flow of yin and yang. The concepts of yin and yang are quite old originating from Taoism. It is said that yin and yang were born when the universe was created, giving harmony to chaos. Yin and yang must always be in balance for optimal health of any system, just like the five elements must be balanced. Yin represents things like femininity, passive, night, weakness, and provides spirituality. Yang represents things like masculinity, active, day, strength, and it provides form. No representation of yin or yang should be judged as better than another. Instead, they are opposites that complement each other. Each healthy person needs a balance of masculine and feminine, the same with needing a balance of energy and rest. One concept is not above another. In traditional Chinese medicine, the human body has seven chakras. The word chakra has its origins from the word Sanskrit, which means wheel or disc in Hindi. These round balls of energy points can be found inside an individual's body. They represent the organs, nerves, and emotional and physical well-being of a person. The seven chakras are the root chakra. This is in the tailbone area. It's connected to feelings of stability and groundedness. The sacral chakra, which is below the belly button, and this has to do with the lower black and the bladder. The solar plexus chakra. chakra. This is in the stomach and upper abdomen. And this is where you see digestive issues like ulcer, heartburn, or indigestion. The heart chakra, which is in the center of the chest. This is the ability to love and connect with others. And if you have a heart problem or asthma, this chakra is out of balance. The throat chakra is all about speaking and communicating. And if there's issues with the teeth or gums or mouth. The third eye chakra, this is in the forehead. And this is about sight and concentration and hearing. And then finally, the crown chakra which is the brain and even extended outside of the top of the head and the nervous system.
Many people may associate the seven chakras with meditation, and this is one way to help heal the body using seven chakras. But in addition, traditional Chinese medicine practitioners may use crystals, food, and even sounds or a combination to be able to clear these chakras and bring healing to the body. Traditional Chinese medicine can be found in many present day examples. One of the most popular is acupuncture. This is where an acupuncturist uses needles to ease chronic muscle and joint pain. In China, this is still used as one of the most common remedies for problems dealing with headaches. It's pretty common in the West as well now to use this to relieve muscle tension, spasms, and sometimes to even help with nervous system issues. Another very common form of traditional Chinese medicine is Tai Chi. Uh, these are exercises that consist of gentle movements to promote quality of life. Those who practice Tai Chi oftentimes are using it to balance themselves, not just physical balance exercises, but to balance their spirit and mind and the things that are going on in their lives. And Chinese herbal products are also another example medicine. These are natural remedies that can potentially cure medical problems. And actually, uh, very relevant to current issues going on, uh, licorice root, which is uh, usually put in tea in China. Um, it's extremely sweet, sweeter than sugar. And uh, it was prescribed as one of the remedies to be able to cure SARS back in 2003, the SARS virus, and there's a significant amount of research that proves that licorice root actually inhibits the virus from replicating. So, again, it's an example of a Chinese herbal product. Licorice root has been used for thousands of years in tea, and it actually is an anti huge antiviral properties. Uh, in addition, much of today's traditional Chinese medicine has been proven to treat fibromyalgia, ease joint pain, and even help with cardiac rehabilitation. Most of those people who are practicing traditional Chinese medicine don't necessarily believe in the religious aspect, but they are still able to utilize the benefits for promoting a healthy mind and body. There are some concerns uh, about the potential loss of traditional Chinese medicine. Science-based medicine oftentimes looks down on things like traditional Chinese medicine. I believe that it's antiquated, non-scientific, and based on superstition. And additionally, uh, time is one of the values, variables, that goes into traditional Chinese medicine. You need time to balance yourself, right? You can't go get acupuncture done in five minutes and... It, you all of a sudden are balanced, right? It's not like an ibuprofen that you take. Increased busyness of life uh, prevents people from doing things like that or even preparing herbal tea. It takes a long time. So this wraps up our presentation on traditional Chinese medicine. Again, I want to thank Dana and Ariana, and if you'd like to see the, her, their notes, they are also posted on My W Life. Thanks. Bye.